Hello, how's it going? I know I hadn't posted a hell, he, uh, hell, heck, whatever. Yeah, I'm a grown ass adult. I'll say hell <laughs> if I want. I know I haven't posted a hell of a lot of videos lately. Um, I did get some interesting news today, and I, I just, it, it, it's something that it, it, it bothered me, especially just because that this is another person that I know who has had. A similar issue to two other people that I've been around that have had that same problem. And it's starting to just like really click in my head that I need to do something. And I figured I would just at least talk with you guys and let you guys know what was happening. So I had got word that my previous landlord just recently had a heart attack. Now, it, it's it's hard for me to really like sit there and you know be so upset and uh, grieve and stuff like that because it's not family like they, they aren't like immediate family i mean of course they were always really nice to me i tried to be respectful and nice to them i tried to show them that i was trustworthy and stuff and just at least let them know like you know i'm on their side with everything and i i got told that she had a heart attack and it's really hard for me because I think it's mostly like the reason why she had the heart attack. So it was because of smoking. And of course, it's not a surprise by now. I have a vape. I still use it. I'm probably going to end up finishing this one. And then I'm, I don't even think I want to touch it again. To be honest with you, I kind of want to get rid of it. But I, I, th there's just a lot that's going through my head with it right now. And I don't know, like, what all it is that I'm going to do. I, I'm i very upset that it's the third person that I know of that has had heart troubles, especially because of smoking. And it's very hard for me to just, like, grasp, like, some of the details that she had given me. Now, her doctor said that she, her family doesn't have any history of heart disease. And... The, the the doctor was saying that the only thing that could have led to this was the smoking because her heart was in very bad condition because of all the smoking and stuff and everything else with her was basically fine. And so she was able to get off the ventilator. She's back home. She's doing okay. And she's doing a lot better than what she was doing like whenever all that stuff happened. And it's hard for me to process a lot of it because, okay, my grandfather has COPD. And that didn't really help with all the years of, like, working in a steel mill. Um, like, the smoggy kind of area of Baltimore. Um, and, of course, smoking. Um, my buddy's dad um, has also had heart troubles whenever it's come to smoking. I, I'm pretty sure they said it was a heart attack. I don't want to say exactly like what all was going on with it because I I don't want to misconstrue words or anything, but there were heart troubles there. Um, the landlord now with the heart troubles. And then I've had another buddy that I've known who has had quite a bit of heart troubles. And it's all coming back to smoking. And the reason why that I'm upset about it is because my dumb ass keeps doing it. And I keep seeing all these people have these issues with smoking and it, it ends up killing them and it's, well, or at least putting them in a situation where they're going to die much quicker. And then I put my dumb ass self through all that crap and it just makes me so goddamn mad that I'm still doing it. it it's hard for me to, it, it's hard for me to really process a lot of it because, okay, I'll tell you this. I am not the fittest person. I, I I know that I have trouble with weight. I know I have trouble with, like, my teeth. My teeth are not really in great condition, not because of smoking, but it's also for many years of just not taking care of them properly. I need to go get fillings done and stuff, but I haven't done that yet. So there's that. I have leg trouble because whenever I was younger, I had a bicycle handlebar go on my leg. And I even grew up with asthma. And my dumbass <clears throat> still thinks that it's good to keep smoking. And I don't know what 
got into my head that stuff i think it's because a lot of the stress that i've been through there's so many things that you guys don't know of and probably will never know of unless it absolutely has to be said but there's a lot of things that you guys don't know about because it's none of y'all's business just like how if you guys have personal stuff going on with you it's none of my business it's just a mutual thing i don't think that everybody should know everybody's whole life I think that things should be kept private and, you know, if someone decides to come out and talk about it, well, then that's fine. But otherwise, just keep your mouth shut. Don't worry about it. And it, it, it's, I, I think that along with that and just not really giving a damn because for a while I just, I didn't really care about my body. I, I, I didn't really care what I did. I, I engorge on nasty ass fast food. I eat way too much. I eat way too fast and too much. And then just just having the smoking. Like it, it's it, it's really starting to take a toll on me. Just because that like if that would have happened to me, I probably would have been dead. Because at this point, like I don't live a healthy lifestyle. And so if I would have had that heart attack and they would say that it was due to smoking or smoking at least increase the odds of having that heart attack I, i'd be dead i <laughs> i hate to put it so morbidly but it's true i mean also i think that people should have some more realism in their life i think that a lot of people try to sugarcoat things because they don't want to get people upset and stuff and it, that's not how anyone should live you you need to know the full truth on something or you need to be real with someone to let them know what's happening because if you're just sitting there and you're just kind of picking and choosing like whatever you say and stuff then nobody's going to have the real picture on it and then they're going to keep doing stuff and then eventually yeah they will kill themselves and it's just it's a hard it's a hard thing to process i will say that i will not touch cigarettes ever again um Cigarettes have been something that I've really struggled with. My grandfather has had struggled with them. He he smokes cigars every now and again. I've tried a couple of cigars, and it's just like eh, cigars isn't really my thing. So I'm not, uh, eh, I'm not worried about that. And the other thing that bothers me and my family is that alcohol plays a very specific role in my family. Uh, alcohol is what my uncle who has multiple sclerosis uses i'm not going to get into that you can look that up for yourself but he uses that because he doesn't like to take a whole bunch of medicines he doesn't want to be all doped up while i may agree with his sentiment i don't think alcohol helps with that either he drinks morning evening and night same things every day morning evening and night and so I started really like contemplating that in my head because like everybody, like they love their whiskey. I love whiskey. I, I love drinking whiskey. I don't really care for beer. But I started realizing that it was something that is not healthy for me. And of course I made all those videos with the you cringe, you drink and stuff. And then I started looking back at them and I'm just like, I don't even like drinking the alcohol. Why was I even doing this? Like, it's so stupid. So dumb that I thought that it would be a smart thing to do and I, I continued doing it for so long. But I, I think I did it because people liked it. And then I started seeing a lot of comments about alcoholism and stuff. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not an alcoholic, but I could see where this is probably going to go. So I'm just going to stop it. But that that's not what we're uh, really on. But it is something that kind of ponders in the back of my head, especially with this. I... I'm going to do everything in my power to stop with the smoking. Like I have my vape and it's not, I, I'm, I'm not just sitting there like inhaling the stuff like down into my lungs and whatnot. It's just kind of like the habit of just doing it. Like if I just had something that didn't even have nicotine in it and it was just straight up vapor, I think it's just like the habit of me just putting the thing up, hitting it and then, you know, putting it back down. And that's kind of what a cigarette does too, except the only difference is, is that nicotine and tar st sits in your mouth and it's not good for you. And it it ruins your lungs. I, In my opinion, it ruins your lungs much faster. And it's a very scary disease to have. And it's something that I really, I, I really don't want to end up getting old and, 
you know, having all these damn issues and like not being able to breathe right because of it. Vaping is not any better. I, I will say that. I, I do believe that vaping isn't as bad as smoking just because of the fact that like if you aren't putting like the extra stuff from the cigarette into your mouth like you're doing it with this then it could be better but I don't actually know so that's why like I I don't think that it's really like oh you should do this instead of this be everybody says that oh you should do vaping instead of smoking it, it's all gonna kill you it's all gonna do the same thing like let's get real here like, I, I just think that it slows down the process of messing up your lungs compared to cigarettes. And I don't think that it's something that I do want to continue. And that's why, like, I even even when, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to try and finish this and stuff. I don't even know if I want to finish it, to be honest with you. Like, I just, uh, it, it's something that is just frightening. And I don't think that a lot of people take a lot of these things seriously. And I think that most of the time people are just like, oh, well, that'll never happen to me. And you're right. It could never happen to you. It could be something that you live with forever or you can smoke until the day you die. Hell, I'm not even 30 yet. And I'm I'm sitting here just pondering on like, oh, God, I can't keep doing this shit. This is going to end up killing me. Whereas I know people who are almost 40 years old and they've been smoking forever and they're just like, oh, it, Oh, I can't go one day without having a cigarette. Oh, I can't have my coffee without having a cigarette. And it's like, well, then sounds like you need to get yourself uh, <laughs> fixed up or something in your life needs to get fixed up pretty bad. And so that's what I think I'm going to do. Whether or not people want to believe it or not, I, I do like being able to get outside and do different things. And I I, I want to be able to show some of that off, but at the same time, have time to myself. Like I like making content, especially on the computer because that's the editing stuff. And there's things online that I think that are interesting and things that I think that, you know, people could benefit from watching or something to get people's mind off of the real world. Or hell, if you're watching this video right now, then, you know, maybe you're enjoying it just because that you're actually having someone who is experiencing something that you've seen other people experience and they're speaking out about it. And it's like, it, it, it's all fun and everything, but just sitting there stewing on a computer all damn day, it's not healthy. It gives me more like incentive to sit there and just vape and vape and vape because I'm sitting inside and I don't want to get up to go and smoke an actual cigarette. I don't want to smoke a cigarette at all, but it gives me more incentive to just sit in there and just puff away on this thing. And then the coils get burnt. The juice gets nasty. I'm vaping all that juice. And then it's just going to end up being bad. And it's not, I don't know. It's, it's not healthy. I, I want to do some different eating habits. I've talked to one of my friends today and she and I were discussing like maybe certain things I could do differently with food. And I, I do want to try a lot of those different things. I want to try and eat healthier, not eat all this garbage that's, you know, going to clog arteries and stuff and make make me feel worse. And I also don't want to continue vaping and smoking, doing anything to, like, make my lungs real bad. Like, I, I know right now it seems like I can't breathe, but that's because I have the window shut because I don't need everybody listening to the conversation and, like, it's just warm in here. But hearing that news this morning started making me reflect a hell of a lot on what I've been doing. And I know that I have a lot of stress. Who doesn't? Everybody has stress in this world, but the more I let the stress win and the more that I do bad habits in order to conquer said stress, the more that I'm just going to end up hurting myself in the process. And I don't want to keep doing that. Stress eating is a thing. I know I do that smoking or vaping is still a thing. I do that. And it, it's something that I really need to change or else <laughs> I, I won't be around to make any more of these videos, in my opinion. Like it, I know I'm laughing, but it scares the living crap out of me just thinking about some of this stuff. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end up killing myself unintentionally. And it's, it's something I want to change. So 
I promise you, I'll at least promise you this. You will not see a vape anymore in my videos. Whether I finish this vape and then don't touch it anymore or I just stop it today, you will not see this vaporizer in my videos anymore. You won't. Because I, I've, I also feel like that I've helped promote a bad habit and that could end up getting people hurt in the process and I don't want to do that. And it's something that the more I see it, the more I'm just like, oh yeah, look at me with my vape and whatnot. And it's, it's not something that I want to have anymore. It's not something that I want to keep dealing with. And so I, I, I gotta, I gotta do something. I, I gotta, I gotta get better or else like I'm going to end up just like her. She's almost 60 years old. I think anyway, I think she's almost 60 years old and she had a heart attack and it's not good. It's not a good thing. So I'm, I'm going to try to make some changes, maybe go out more, do certain things around here. I know that there's someone right here it, getting out of their vehicle. They're probably about to get onto their bike because this is a very prominent bike trail and walking trail through here. It's a, it's a nice area. I'm thinking about doing some more of this stuff out here. But I just needed to get away from doing work for a while. And I, I just, I wanted to come out here and tell everyone that I'm, I'm going to try my hardest to stop like all these bad habits. And I'm not doing it for everybody else. I'm doing it for me. And I also really would appreciate not having everyone being like, oh, come on, make sure you're not doing this. Make sure you're not doing this. Because I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this and then I'll try and end it. The more you tell people, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, the more that they're going to want to do it. I'm almost 30, and I don't like it whenever people who especially don't know who I am are telling me what to do. And a lot of people, and I know that I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are the same exact way. If someone tells you, okay, we'll, we'll just do this as an example, because I know a lot of y'all are much younger than me. If someone tells you you can't play a video game or you can't watch YouTube or you can't do this, you're going to get pretty pissed, aren't you? And guess what? If they take away your way of doing it, you're just going to find a way around it so that way you could get back online and you could do things that you want to do. And even though it's not what they want you to do, you're still going to find a way to do it because that's what you enjoy. And that's what you're going to continue to do because F everybody and that, that's just how you're going to want to live your life. Believe me, there's a lot of you that I know would do that. And I know that because you see me doing the vaping or the drinking and stuff, you can automatically tell me like, oh, hey, you shouldn't do this because blah, 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 blah. Nobody in this world is perfect. But don't pretend like you wouldn't do the exact same thing with one of your vices or one of the things that someone else would tell you not to do. Don't pretend like you wouldn't get mad about it. Because I guarantee that if there's something in your life that you have done for so many years that someone would tell you like, oh, you shouldn't do that anymore because of blah, 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 blah reason. You would find a way to do it anyway. I know you would. I know everyone would because that's what I did. And I, I've known plenty of other people to do that too. Everyone finds a workaround for it, whether people want them to do certain things or not. And that's just how it is. That's what people want to do. So just keep in mind, like I'm doing this for me and I'm trying to do everything I can, but... I know that if I was preaching to y'all saying, oh, you shouldn't do this, oh, you shouldn't do this, then a lot of you would probably be upset. So let, let's try and work with doing the same thing the other way around. I'm, I'm going to do my very best. And I know that if any of y'all have issues, like y'all be y'all will be doing your very best. But let's not try to treat each other like we're better than each other, okay? That's, that's really all I'm asking. Now, for any of y'all who do vape or do drink, um, just keep in mind that there are real life things that are happening around you. And just because you think that it's not going to happen to you doesn't mean it won't. You may think it won't, but it will. And I'm afraid that at some point something will happen to me too. And I don't want that to happen. And so I'm going to try and take advantage of a situation and, you know, do something better for me before something does happen that I can't control or that it's not good. Yeah, I told you they were getting on their bike. <laughs> just take care of yourselves and just, 
I don't know, go outside, enjoy some fresh air, do something fun, do something for yourself, have a good time. And I'm going to try and live a little healthier than what I have been. I, I guarantee you that. <laughs> this has really screwed up my morning, I'm telling you. Anyway, I'm going to go back to work. I just figured I'd let you all know that. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you later.